back to my channel. I'm back this week with another how-to video, but this time we're just gonna do everything with eyeshadow and mostly for people with just round eyes or if you have like hooded eyes or even if you have just almond shaped eyes, you can take some tips and tricks from this video and apply them to your routine to just make your pretty much your life easier because I feel like us people with round eyes have to do very different things with our eyeshadow than people with just almond shaped eyes or with hooded eyes because we all have different eye shapes and we're all very unique so if you want to learn how to do your eyeshadow if you have round eyes because I know it's kind of hard to find those tutorials out there then please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video if you learned something and don't forget to leave me in the comments anything else that you would like to, me to record for you so again, thank you so much and if you want to see how to do eyeshadow for people with round eyes and winged eyeliner and lashes and all that stuff, keep on watching. Well hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing kind of a how-to video, just another one. I already have a how to cover their circles so video up which I will leave my playlist up here if you want to go check those out. But today we're going to be doing some eyeshadow how-tos. So as you can tell, I have really like round eyes and I'm just like, every day I go through my Instagram feed and I see like all these really cool makeup looks like cut creases and like double wings and all these like really cool stuff. But then I try it on my eyes and it looks so bad. So I'm just going to teach you guys some tips and tricks I use to make eyeshadow look good on my eye shape so that I can give my eyes some more dimension so that it can look just longer since it's like really round. And I just wanted to share those tips and tricks with you guys so that I can just help you in your day-to-day -day routine because it's hard when you're trying to do a cut crease and you put concealer on but then you open your eye and it ruins your crease and it just it's a mess today I'm gonna teach you guys some tricks to just fix all your eyeshadow problems so if you're interested to see then keep on watching so the first thing you want to do with any eyeshadow is to prime and that's even if you have like a round eye shape or hooded eyes or just big perfect eyes you always need to prime primer so what I like to do is just grab like a pea size amount, put it on my eyelids, and I like to put a little bit on my lower lash line, and don't forget your inner corner, like that. So my eyes are primed, I already have my brows done by the way, but I haven't done my foundation, because I'm going to do that after I do my eyes. But the first trick that I like to use for dramatic dimensional looks it's using tape now I know we've seen this trick pretty much everywhere but I feel like when you have really round eyes tape can really help the eyeshadow you're putting on look very lifted and just bright and awake because one of the problems that I find when I'm doing my eyeshadow is that when I'm blending I find that I put a lot of the darker colors down here and that just drags down my eye and makes it look really like drobby but when I put tape on it just lifts everything which is awesome so I'm just gonna line up the tape from the outer corner of my eye to the brow like that and as you can tell most people when they put the tape on their eye they normally have like really almond shaped eyes which is like the perfect eye shape but so what most people do is that they put the tape facing outward but since I do have round eyes what I like to do to lift my eye shape is to put it upwards so as you can tell I'm not dragging the tape to the end of my brow I'm bringing it in, I'm bringing it in a little bit so that the angle is a little bit steeper and that's just gonna lift my eye even more but that is because of my eye shape like that as you can tell it's just lifting and whenever I put my eyeshadow on it's just gonna stay within those lines and it's not gonna move anywhere the first thing I'm gonna do with eyeshadow since I already primed my eyes is set that primer and I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay times Gwen Stefani palette for this and I'm gonna grab this shade with my Morphe M504 I'm pretty much gonna load my brush and I'm gonna cover my eye primer all the way from the lid all the way up to the brow bone and what I like about using a shade like this one that's really pale is that it cancels out any darkness that I have on my eye 
and it leaves me with like a blank canvas so that I can create the shape I want on my eye. So now that we have set our primer, we're going to go in with transitions. And this is when the placement of the shadow really starts to get really important. So I'm going to grab this shade from the palette. But for my eye shape, I really need to put this really high up on the crease. And I've seen a lot of eyeshadow do's and don'ts videos. But what most of them are telling you is to not drag the eyeshadow all the way up to the brow. But as you can tell, when I'm blending my transition, it looks like I'm literally right under my brow. Because that is because of my eye shape. Because when I open my eye, if I don't put eyeshadow pretty much on my brow bone, it's like I haven't put any eyeshadow at all. So I really need to bring up all my colors all the way up to my brow bone. So that when I open my eyes, I can see that transition. Because when I'm going like this, just raising my brows, it looks like I have my transition shade all over the place. But when I close my eyes, that transition shade is right there. And it's going to help with the blend also. If you open your eye, you need to be able to see your eyeshadow. Even if it means you have to drag it up a little bit higher than normal. So now that my transition is set, I built it up quite a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Naked Smoky palette and this shade right here. A really dark color, but I'm going to go in with my Sigma E38. I'm going to coat my brush. So what I like to do with my eyes, it's I like to grab a lot of the product and just pat it on my outer corner. Because that's just going to give my eye more dimension and a more smoky look. As you can see, it's like right here. It looks like it's on my lid. Because pretty much this whole thing is my lid. So just because all this space is your lid, doesn't mean that you have to put all your lid color all over the place. You can kind of divide it up into thirds, which is what I'm doing. So my outer third, I'm just going to pack on this color. And then I'm going to grab more color on my brush. And I'm going to put it all the way up here. And this is kind of like a scary part because when you're doing it, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm putting that black shadow all over my eye. But really what you're doing is that when you open your eye, you're going to be able to see that eyeshadow that you worked so hard blending and it's not completely covered by your lid. It's just like you open your eye and you can see it. So I'm just going to feather it in my crease, mostly on the upper part. And since I do have really round eyes, I'm going to keep mentioning that. But that's what this video is about. So I like to put my eyeshadow all the way up to the front of my lid, but not touching this. Just up here. Right there. And when I have my eyes open, it looks like I have a black eye. But when I close my eyes, it's like, oh wait, she has eyeshadow on. And I'm just going to keep blending this in circular motions. Okay, so now what I like to do is completely open my eye. And I'm not going to make any sort of expression. And I'm going to grab my brush with some color. And I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to raise my brows and I'm going to blend that. And now with my eye completely open, not making any expressions, I'm going to keep blending with the same brush. So that the edges look diffused. So pretty much the main difference with this eye tutorial as compared to other eyeshadow do's and don'ts is that with the round eyes you pretty much have to take every dark color you use almost all the way up to your brow which is always a don't but if I don't do this or if you have really hooded round eyes if you keep it really low and the darker the color the lower you keep it then you're only going to be able to see your lightest colors and your darker colors are just going to be hidden in your lid. So you pretty much blended all this out and did all this work and you can't even see it. So so what I always, always, always like to do, like, and this works for any eye shape, is grab a clean blending brush with nothing on it and blend the edges really lightly with a very, very light hand. You don't want to apply any pressure, just blending the edges. Just as you can tell right now, this eye, the eyelid space looks way lifted and bigger than this eye with just my transition. 
And if I was to put my dark eyeshadow colors really low, this is essentially what it will end up looking like. So now that my first two shadows are on, we're going to deepen up the crease even more with some black eyeshadow. So what I like to do with these really dark colors is grab a dome brush and this is my Sigma E34. I find that this brush is really good because it really packs on the color, but if you want to, you can really blend things out with this brush. It is really good. So I'm going to grab the color Blackout from the Gwen Stefani palette. And what I, what I like to do with like the deepest color you're going to use is put it really precisely on the outer corner. Almost as if it was a wing. Like that. And I like to drag it. So what I do is with my dome brush, I look straight forward. And I'm not making any expressions. And I really lightly feather the dark color into the crease that I had before. And this is only on the outer corner. So now that I did that, I can open my eye, kind of lift my brow, and see that the black is going to be visible if I put it right here. So then I fill in that gap in the middle with the same dome brush. And I bring it right here with my dome brush. So when I open my eye, I can see the definition of the black from my outer corner all the way up to my inner corner and it's not hidden by my lid. So what I like to do is with the same dome brush, I'm going to diffuse the edges. So now I'm going to go back in with my Sigma E38. There's no additional product on this brush, but with my eyes open, looking straight forward, I'm going to very lightly blend that black into my brown. So as you can tell now, I can see that really dark eyeshadow when I have my eyes completely open. So now, something that really changes up my eye look is a brow bone highlight. Because as you can tell, it looks really dark up here because because of my eye shape. I do have to drag up my dark shadows. But what I do to kind of counteract that action is use a highlight. So what I like to do is grab my Smashbox brush and really lightly diffuse the edge between the crease color and the brow bone highlight. So for the lid, I'm gonna be grabbing the color High from the Naked Smoky palette with my Smashbox shader brush. And for the lid, this is like the easiest part because I feel like if you have round eyes, most of your eyelid space is just lid. There's not much crease. So I'm just going to put this on my inner third and then we're going to go back in with the Smashbox brush and just diffuse the edges. So now, as you can tell with both of my eyes open, you can see all the crease color, you can see all the dimension, and you can also see that shimmery shade. Because if I was to do eyeshadow kind of like the traditional way, like, oh, don't drag it all the way up to the brow bone and keep the dark colors really low and you put your crease color only on your crease. If I, was, if I was to kind of just keep those steps, I would just have all the colors down here and when I open my eye, it would all just be hidden and it would have been a waste of time. So now what I'm going to do is remove this tape. This feels so good. So as you can tell now, all I did was clean up all this fallout and it just looks really sharp and really lifted and I can see all the different eyeshadows I put and all the dimension. But if you do want to do a wing, which I'm going to do now, is kind of follow the same line you used with the tape. And as you can tell, it is going upwards, not sideways. And if you have a normal almond shape in your eye, you really want to drag that wing outwards. But if I was to drag that wing outwards, I would have a wing going sideways. And that doesn't look very flattering from my eye shape, in my opinion. But if you like that look, then you can do as you wish. But what I like to do is follow this tape line. And then I open my eye. And this is kind of the easiest part. So you just open your eye. And you do your normal liner and you connect it to your wing. I feel like that's the thing about having round eyes and doing eyeliner. That when you close your eye, it looks like you have all these different shapes. And it looks like 
your wing is wrong and your inner corner is wrong but when you open your eye it looks completely fine which is why it is so different to do your eye makeup with like different eye shapes it's so like now for the lower lash line I am gonna first put on some eyeliner and yes I look a little bit different because I did my foundation and my concealer and I powdered my face but I'm not gonna do that on camera because I do have a whole video dedicated just to that so I will leave it up here so that you can click on it now back to the eyes we are gonna first put some waterline eyeliner and I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier caviar stick in plum and I know this is an eyeshadow, but this stays on the waterline like it's nobody's business. This is so good. So now that we have that down, I'm going to grab my Sigma Dome Brush. This is, a, this is again the E34. And I'm going to go dab just a tiny little bit into the brown. And I'm kind of going to keep this really close to that liner. I don't like to drag it really low because then that's just going to droop my eye really like down. And it's just going to kind of contradict the effect of the tape which was to lift our eye and we just drag it down. So what you want to do is keep it really tight and don't use a lot of product at all. Now that the color is there, what I like to do is grab a blending brush, a clean one. And I'm going to go and blend the edges really lightly once again. And that is really all I like to do for kind of dimension on my lower lash line. I do like to highlight my inner corner a lot. So that is what we're going to do now. Now for my inner corner and kind of the inner third of my lower lash line, I like to go in with highlighter. And this is Opal by Becca. And I'm going to, with my Smashbox shader brush... I'm just gonna put this on my inner corner. So now, for the last part of our eyes, we just have to do some mascara. And I'm gonna be using my Dior Pump and Volume. This is my ride or die favorite true mascara. This is the best mascara I've ever tried. I, on my last tutorial, I, I used my Velvet Noir by a Marc Jacobs. Really amazing mascara. I'm not saying that's a bad mascara. It is an amazing one. But I thought that was the best mascara until i tried this this like stole my heart so you need this so yeah guys that is what the eyes look like now they're completely done so i'm just gonna go finish up the rest of my face to sum everything up and i will be right back well yeah guys that is it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you learned something from this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out because I will have a giveaway when I get to 1,000 subscribers. So subscribe. You're pretty much entering a giveaway. I mean, you're not. You ain't got anything to lose. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me in the comments down below what you would like me to record for you next. Um, I would love to record videos that you guys would like to see. So hit me up in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys want to see. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.